Coming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage, thank you for joining me on a very fancy car. I said, oh, wow, Chevelle is fancy now, right? I said, yeah, tuxedo black says I'm fancy. Air conditioning says I'm fancy, right? All of these things, right, didn't come on most of these muscle cars. They came as strippers so we could go fast. This is a nicely optioned car with great gauges and all kinds of great stuff. We're going to spend some time looking around here. And you're probably saying to yourself, is the car as shiny here as it is in real person? And I'm going to prove that to you today, how really shiny this is, because we're not going to look at this piece of paper at all. We're going to look at the paint. We're going to look at the paint with the paper, and you're going to read the entire description of the car in the paint. How are you doing? All right, so... I get this a lot, like people say, wow, that's a great looking car, but they don't really know why it's a great looking car, right? They just say, wow, that's a great looking car. I want to tell you, you throw in tuxedo black paint, white stripe, black bucket seat interior, the fact that all the windows go down and leave this beautiful coupe stance, the Goodyear polyglass tires, the correct SS wheels, nice chrome, stainless, and those kinds of things all polished and bright, contrasting against all the other things that there. It's just a beautiful car. However, not only is it a beautiful car from where you are, it's a beautiful car right up against it. So what I'd like to do today is a little different. Let's not look at the piece of paper. Let's look at the paint and come on up here. First off, you can see the entire ceiling uh, like it's brand new in the, in the paint. Secondly, let's not look at the paint. Let's look at this and go ahead and you read the description. You can read that description perfectly. Look how easy everything is to see. All the words are there, everything crystal clear. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for somebody to do this for you because pictures, you can make pictures look whatever you want, but the video, you can't fix that and you can't fake that. That's why you love this car. All right, so maybe you want to go to a car show. Maybe you don't care to go to car shows. You just want a cool car to drive. Regardless, you're going to want to open the hood for your friends. This car here, unfortunately is over restored well tell me, why is that unfortunate well it's not unfortunate it was just being funny right it's over restored the car did not come from the factory as nice as this car is first off all of the inner fender liners are metal and they're painted gloss black like the rest of the car look how beautiful underneath the hood here is painted the top of the radiator uh cover here painted gloss black it's really really nice however it is dressed authentically under the hood down to the tower clamps gm hoses we have factory air conditioning with the right decals on here um, the detail that goes on in here from the battery topper and and the correct valve covers and the block painted the correct color like all of that stuff looks so so nice in here it's this is a recent restoration so you're seeing all of the nice new insulation and all of those things Again, you may want to go to a car show. This looks really great in a car show. You may not care and your friends may come over and go, hey man, what you got under the hood? You open the hood and it looks like this. And they're like, wow, that looks really great. And that's exactly right. This looks really great. All right, so back here, back to the original stuff we talked about. New bumpers, new stainless, new exhaust tips, detailed underneath. The 12 bolt is hanging there properly like it's supposed to, right? And uh, you'll see the pictures online underneath. It looks really good in there. And I like to show this off. And you know why I spend a little time showing this off? Because a lot of people don't do the detail stuff to finish it. For instance, they'll paint this, but they don't paint it the correct splatter color paint, or they miss a step that's a huge deal. And that is when you splatter coat these trunks, right? And then put the correct mat in here. I took the mat out so you could see all how deep the ribs are. There's not mud in the trunk of here. Um, but more importantly, that we clear coat this over so that if water somehow got under, maybe you've had a cooler in there and it sweat and got underneath the trunk mat, right, uh, that it doesn't happen. Here we have the original spare tire. This is an original vintage spare tire, which is pretty cool to see this in a car. Uh, so we'll put the trunk mat back in there. We have the jacking instructions that are on the way as well. A couple more decals that go in here. And uh, we'll button this all up for you so that when you get it, it looks real nice. But I wanted you to see it. Uh, it looks good. This is like the little stuff. It, like new weather stripping, you say, Tone, how much could a piece of weather stripping cost? Agreed. Not super expensive. The fact, though, that is that it's done here and it's done up front. It's done in the doors. It's on and on and on. That's kind of what I'm sharing with you is that this is a beautifully restored car. All right, so you're walking up to your mean machine, right? You're getting here and you're going, wow, this car is so nice. And you're like, wow, it is really, really nice. 
and then you go to say, you know what, I'm not going to spend a lot of time out, in here, out there. I'm going to spend some time in here, so let's see what that looks like. So come on in here and join me for that. All right. So some cars, uh, muscle cars, are strippers, meaning stop, stop, not strippers like you're thinking. You never stop, do you? Strippers, meaning stripped of options. This car here, power steering, power disc brakes, in-dash uh, tachometer, speedometer, full gauges, right? Uh, you know, with, with temperature and, and all the other things that go along with that. Upgraded AM, FM stereo. I think that we should do something with a stereo. It's kind of an old school stereo that says Chevrolet on it. If you like it, we'll leave it there. If not, we could put... We could put a stock radio in there and then inside the glove box we hired a digital sound system so that you can stream your music and stuff like that. It's got a nice sound system in here. The nice call outs for the SS396. Again, more options. Buckets, option. Console, option. All of these things that are on here, option. All the big lists that I just ran down, especially air conditioning and stuff like that, all options. And then you have a black on black interior, I mean, sorry, black on black car with a black interior and the white stripes and everything, it just got it sums it all up. Even the SS396 callouts that are on the door panels just say, I'm a muscle car. So I did ramble a lot, but what I want to say is this, is that if you wanted to uh, go to dinner with uh, another couple or go out with the kids in a car like this, this is a game changer. It's very different experience going out to dinner in a cool car like this versus your daily driver. Not that the daily driver is not a great car, but this is just different, right? Anyway, it's cool. Hope you love it. All right, so let's close up the video on this black on black SS396 Chevelle 1969 vintage. Well, why is this car different than some of the other cars that are out there? Let me run down the list for you and you tell me what you think. Power steering, power disc brakes, correct SS wheels, polyglass tires. The tires alone are almost $2,000. Factory air condition. That was very expensive back in the day, and the fact it's still here because we ripped that out the first week we bought our car so we could go faster. It's all here. Over-restored car inside the engine compartment. It's all gloss black and looks so good when you open it. Inside the car, right? Full gauges, not just a gas gauge and a speedometer, right? This has the tack. It has uh, all the other gauges that go along with it, too. Buckets, console, 12 volt, turbo 400, right? This is an awesome, awesome piece. I'm telling you, man, you go down the road in this car, it's amongst other supermodels in this showroom, but out on the road, it is spectacular. Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this 69 Super Sport. If you would, please don't forget to like the video down below. That helps us out as well. Subscribe to the channel. We're putting out new content all the time. Share with your friends, they might like it as well. And I will see you on the test drive.